Previously during the investigation. Welcome to Greenvale. Agent Francis York Morgan. You're out of your mind. The goddess won't smile for you anymore, George. Emily. Which room is Emily in? That wasn't a reversed peace mark. Red tree. Zack, I need you to pray with me. Pray that things have not gone too far. Open this door. There is no turning back. You still want to enter? Very well then. Off you go, Mr. York. <laughs> and finally you arrive, York. George is dead. You've got nowhere left to run. George! Oh, right, George! <laughs> he was a funny one. I gave him a toy locket, and he was so impressed, <laughs> so moved. <laughs> but he wasn't very intelligent. He was born in this town, you see, and, and it took him too long to discover the Red Sea. Binding down people's rules is a sign of small mindedness, and that was what George represented in life. <laughs> I'm taking Emily. Oh, but I can't allow that now, can I? York, you left her to me in my care, remember? I told you to come with us, didn't I? You must remember that. But you didn't come. You chose your job over the woman that you love. Casey, this chit-chat is over. Oh, indeed it is. My fun with Emily ended just a moment ago. It was a fantastic moment. Like eating a full course dinner that ends with the ultimate dessert. <laughs> I fed her a fake story about my past, and she took in every word. <laughs> Cut out your nonsense. I told you, no more talk. There you go, York. That's right. <laughs> Feel the hate boiling from the bottom of your stomach. That's what makes little men create such great and amazing history. <laughs> Just like tiny ants that make giant ant hills. <laughs> You know, I just had dessert, and yet I'm already hungry again. <laughs> no wonder why I keep failing at keeping a diet. Kason, stop! The next one will pierce you between your eyes. York! Emily, it's me. I'm here. Don't worry. Everything will be fine now. York? Is that you? Oh, my God. York, I... Emily, no! That isn't me! York. York. Oh. Emily! <laughs> oh! Oh. It's okay, Emily. Hurry, come over here. We need to get you to the hospital. I, I can't. I, I can't go to you. I've... 
I've been soiled. No, that's not true. You have a heart that can't be soiled. No matter what happens to your body, you are still yourself. York, I... 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 Didn't I tell you? Getting these saplings to sprout requires a, a certain technique. <laughs> what do you think? Artistic, isn't it? It's like a surrealistic painting. <laughs> York, shoot me. Too late. Once it's like this, I can't do anything to stop it. Please, darling, shoot me. I'd rather die. If you love me, let me die. <laughs> Times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Yes, I, I couldn't do it. However, you can. When the time comes, and you have to make that decision, make the right one. Okay, Zack? I saw you, Zack. Hey, Zack. It's okay. I'm here. I'm with you. I'll be with you always. We can get through this together. Who are you? My name is York. Me and you will always be together. Okay, 
Zack. I'm you, and you are me. Now, give me your hand. I remember. I traded places with York. York, the other me. My other personality. Zack, please, please shoot. York, what should I do? Tell me what to do, York. Zack, you have to decide for yourself what you must do. I'll be with you no matter what you decide. Don't worry. There are some things in this world that must be extracted, no matter what. Even if that means losing someone that you love. I can't do it. I can't kill Emily. I'm sorry, Zack. Stop. Emily! Ladies and gentlemen, and now, the grand finale! <laughs> Emily, what have you done? Zack, I wasn't used as soil at all. You're beautiful. The most beautiful person I've ever seen. Thank you, Zack. I wanted to be with you. Emily, no. You aren't supposed to go over there. That's not the way. Come back, Emily. York and Zack. Finally, I understand. You two really are best friends. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. Finally got to meet you face to face, but you had to go with York, didn't you? He always gets the girl. He's a good guy. You see that too, right? He kept talking to me and ended up pulling me back out of that room. I'm sure he'll make you very happy.
Why did you bring Zack back? Who the hell are you two? How did you get out of the Red Room?
your death. Just a moment longer. I'll buy you a new dress to make up for all the pain I've caused you. The dress you wore when you came to my hotel room didn't seem to fit you right. <laughs>
Annoying little bug.
Because you don't understand humans. Emily, York tries not to show it, but he's pretty shy. Don't wait for him to propose. Just ask him to marry you. There are some things in this world that must be extracted, no matter what. Yark, I'm sorry, I... Uh, uh, why can you cause me pain? Uh, 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 a red tree! Yark and Zack, finally I understand. Are you two really are best friends? Jealous. I'm sure he'll make you very happy. Are you leaving today? Maybe. Zack, that story I told you the other day, did you believe any of it? The fact of the matter is that I couldn't save Emily. So it really doesn't matter whether I believed you or not. I'm very sorry about her. There's something mysterious about that picture. There's a calming beauty to it. Sadness. Harry, I have a few questions for you. About what, Zack? Your last name isn't really Stuart, is it? Yeah, uh, that is correct. It's really Woodman. Harry Woodman. George was my son. You were there in the White Room when I was there. Why? The same reason as your father. Long, long ago. I too was unable to shoot my wife. What's worse is that I was also unable to kill myself. Which is why I lost both. The woman I loved and my son. My wife suffered from a mental illness, but I still loved her. I wanted to save George too, if I could. Everything was my fault. If only I had 
had the courage to make the right decision, Emily and the other girls would not have died. But you have put an end to all of that. I wonder if they are happy. Zack, no need to worry about that. York will guide Emily and the other girls into the forest. Hey, Michael. Mind stopping the car for a moment? Very well, Mr. Francis Zack Morgan. I heard you're leaving. That's right. It's a shame about Emily, and the other girls too. How are Isaac and Isaiah? Oh, they're fine. They still don't think the girls are dead. him yourself. He's right next to you. Oh, okay. I understand. We'll do it for you. Um, Emily kind of told us to give this to you. Emily said it's a present for Zach. Thank you. Where did you get this? Emily asked us to give it to you. See? She's over there. There's another Zack there, too. You're twins, just like us. Emily couldn't give it to you herself. She said she's too embarrassed. So, she asked us to hand it to you. Emily really likes you, Zack. She really likes you. No, she doesn't. Not me. She really likes that guy, York. The guy you see standing next to her. Anyways, you two, be nice to the girls, okay? And they'll be nice to you. We don't like girls. Girls are boring. <laughs> Gotta love them, just full of energy. why George carried on his body all the way into the woods. It was for them. He wanted Isaac and Isaiah to find her. Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, if you are finished, if you are, please let us return to the car. No need for that. You can go home. I want to take a look around more. Very well then. I'm sure Mr. Stewart will approve of that. Ah, thank you, Michael.
York. Can you hear me? I'm a little jealous. I'm all alone on this side now. But don't worry, York. I've had it easy for so long having you with me. I need to get used to being on my own. One more thing, York. I hope things are going well with Emily. You've always been horrible with women. I gave you tons of advice during your last relationship. And you ignored all of it. I'm sure Emily will take the lead. Just don't fight her. Let her steer you in the right direction. York, tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. Zack, it's over. All finished. It's time for you to leave town. Are you ready to go? Then this is goodbye, Zack. Thank you for everything. Good night, Zack. And sleep tight. Polly, what's that picture? Oh, that. We took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago? That's right. That's me in the middle. I was pretty popular back then. Men were always around me. Sorry to keep you waiting. Just sign here, please. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend. Someone who was with me for a long, long time. He must have been a really good friend, then. Otherwise, why else would you remember him at a time like this? Indeed. We used to fight, but he really was a good person. He's gone now, though. Gone away to a place where we can't meet again. I'm sorry to hear that, but if he's a friend of yours, I'm sure he's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too. Hey. 
please give me a fair for shade Nobody can tell me a rainbow appeared after the rain I try to hide my sadness I try to hide my sadness This gentry was come from the sea of disease Nobody can tell me a horizon appeared after the sorrow I try to vanish my scar I try to vanish my scar Paint the darkness with